Productivity Vibes, a production of the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council. Productivity Vibes is an informative magazine program on what's vibing in the areas of productivity and competitiveness. It's about productivity. It's a vibe. It's innovation. It's about confidence. It's all about creativity. It's a competitive spirit. It's making a difference. It's problem solving. It's data driven. It's creativity. It's a very positive mindset. <laughs> it's NCPC, baby. It's a vibe. It's a productivity vibe. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council. Embracing excellence. Promoting health and wellness through healthy lifestyles is not a singular task for health officials and enthusiasts, but must be a collective effort and shared responsibility. A healthy citizen is a more productive citizen. It is for this reason the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has embraced the slogan St. Lucia Moves, calling on all citizens to take charge of their individual health and get active. In our Watch Trending segment, we take in some highlights of the St. Lucia Move campaign launched during Caribbean Wellness Day activities. Following the recent launch of the St. Lucia Moves campaign, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs issued a call to individuals to remain active and strive for improved health. The St. Lucia Moves campaign is aimed at reducing the burden of NCDs by encouraging individuals and organizations to promote and support healthy behaviors through various interventions. Senior Medical Officer for Non-Communicable Diseases, NCDs, Dr. Shana Filbert says she's extremely elated with the launch of the campaign and encouraged St. Lucians to keep moving. Today, as we launch the St. Lucia Moves campaign, we commit to move, to move forward, we commit to change. We commit to progress and a positive journey towards wellness. Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Jenny Daniel, believes the St. Lucia Moves campaign will play a significant part in taking steps towards ensuring overall wellness of citizens. Today we also launch our St. Lucia Moves campaign which is the most visible and key component of our journey towards overall national wellness. Whereas physical activity is an essential component of wellness, we would like to emph emphasize that exercise does not singularly equate wellness by any means at all, but rather that wellness encompasses a holistic approach towards healthy and positive lifestyles and living that extends beyond the lifespan of the St. Lucia Moves campaign. However, it is a start. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs therefore invites you to embark on this journey with us as we rebuild our national health profile and health sector. St. Lucia's National Carnival Queen 2022, Zania Douglas, endorsed the St. Lucia Moves campaign and made a pledge to be a voice for health and wellness. Having worked alongside the Caribbean Public Health Agency, the OECS Commission, and PAHO in initiatives prior to my reign, my objective as the National Carnival Queen is to inspire St. Lucians, particularly the younger generation, to see the importance of healthy eating and to revolutionize their understanding of health and wellness. I am pleased to see today that there is such a vibrant, com a vibrant community of young people and adults who share the same values and are championing this specific cause. This is what St. Lucia needs. It is why I, Zenia Douglas, the National Carnival Queen, 
fully endorse the St. Lucia Moves initiative and I look forward to the series of projects and activities that follow. Minister for Health, the Honorable Moses Jabatis, says he is extremely grateful for the campaign which demonstrates the dedication towards taking action against the impacts of NCDs. The aim of St. Lucia Moves is to get St. Lucians physically active to combat conditions like obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. We extend an invitation to all St. Lucians to get even more serious about health and wellness. I invite all organizations, whether religious or sporting, business or recreational, all of us, get active. Let us change the way in which we work and play. Remain active. Let's keep St. Lucia moving. The St. Lucia Moves campaign will challenge workplaces, schools, business places, churches, ministries, communities, families, and individuals to engage in regular physical activity through healthy competition and the showcasing of innovative games and methods. While the aim is to move physically, St. Lucians will be moving into action against NCDs and their risk factors. The campaign forms part of our national wellness drive aimed at increasing awareness of NCDs, the promotion of wellness and the promotion of physical activity across the life course. From childhood to adulthood, young and old will be encouraged to engage in, compete and challenge the intellect by developing creative means of staying physically active. The St. Lucia Moves campaign serves as part of the Caribbean Moves initiative which calls for regional commitment focused on tackling NCDs for preventative actions. Officials within the Ministry of Health also participated in the Caribbean Moves launch which was held at the Emancipation Park in Kingston, Jamaica on September 14th. During this activity, St. Lucia was recognized for its recent launch of the St. Lucia Moves campaign ahead of the launch of Caribbean Moves. Do you run a business? Do you use data in your decision making? Meet Gina and Lyle, two entrepreneurs. Gina knows that if she wants her business to grow, she must rely on quality data to make the right decision. Gina uses Pro Tool. Pro Tool tells Gina how well her business is performing and tells her where she needs to make changes. Gina's data-driven decisions are working. Her business grows stronger and more profitable. Lyle makes his business decisions from his gut. Who needs data? After all, he knows what's best and does not need figures to tell him how to run his business. Lyle notices the business is struggling. He does not know why or what he needs to change. The business is crumbling. Gina has the winning formula. A business guided by data-driven decisions becomes profitable. Use Pro Tool to measure the productivity of your business and reap the rewards. Pro Tool. Plan to succeed with data-driven solutions. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, the NCPC, has officially launched the long-awaited innovative productivity measuring tool called ProTool. Via an online portal, ProTool will allow micro to large enterprises the flexibility to measure the productivity of their businesses. On this week's Innovator segment, we bring you highlights of ProTool's official launch. Welcome to the launch of the Business Productivity Measuring Tool. This is a very proud day for the NCPC. This is an activity that we've been planning for a while. COVID had stopped it, delays have stopped it, but nothing could stop the progress that we want to make. And to ensure that we are able to measure productivity in this country and measure it properly so that the information that will be had from this tool could be used to improve our lot in St. Lucia. The government of St. Lucia remains committed to enhancing productivity and we are very grateful to the various collaborators in the private sector that have been with us on the journey from the inception. I am pleased as well to acknowledge the support that we have received from the many businesses 
that participated in the pilot testing phase of the development of the proto. The feedback from those businesses was invaluable to the finalization of the proto and that's why we are here today. The tool was initially designed in-house in Excel and underwent two set of pilot testing among selected firms. Based on the feedback, it was agreed to transform the tool into a web-based platform that would allow firms the comfort of assessing the, product, the performance using a secure login in a format that would minimize errors. The online version of the tool was financed by the Complete Caribbean Partnership Facility as part of the National Competitiveness Agenda Project. The Pro Tool is based on intensive research and international best practices. The Complete Caribbean Partnership Facility is focused on reigniting economic growth in the Caribbean. It is about increasing productivity, fostering innovation, and Caribbean products and services competitively in the global market. In St. Lucia, Compete Caribbean is working with the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council and Export St. Lucia, and in turn helping to deliver results through various companies and through technical assistance and tools such as Pro Tool. The Pro Tool has several features. One, it provides a quantitative measure of productivity and other key indicators based on selected sector or economic activity. Two, firms can assess operational efficiency in the area of leadership, workplace innovation, technology, human resource upgrading, standards, business processes, sales and marketing, to name a few. Third, there's a scoring system, one which assesses the operational efficiency from weak to strong, and an overall score is given at the end of the assessment. Recommendations for recommendations are provided based on the area of weakness. Five, the productivity levels can be benchmarked against productivity at the sectoral level for each assessment. A worded report, which is a six one, sorry, a worded report is provided for each assessment undertaken by the firm with explanations on the results obtained from the tool. Seven, each firm has its own secure access to Pro Tool, where information included is only available to the firm. Eight, government is able to receive aggregated data only at the sectoral level. It is important to note that the design ensures government cannot access individual firms information. This is also about building our mutual prosperity. And in this challenging global context, working together to improve lives and livelihoods is more important than ever. So, our congratulations and thanks to our partners on what they have done and on what they're doing, what they shall continue to do to build a private sector with the, with the support of Compete Caribbean. We are offering the use of the portal free of charge for a year. And we will monitor the situation going forward. <laughs> However, to access, you will need a coupon code to bypass the prompt on the website. So the code is available on the our Facebook page and on the brochure that um, you have right now, alternatively, you could contact the NCBC. On behalf of my government and the business community, and on my personal behalf, I want to thank all the funders, particularly Compete Caribbean. I want to thank as well the developers and all involved in the development of this very essential tool. We as a country, need to embrace a data-driven culture. And this is especially the case for the private sector as well as our governments. Because I remember as an employee of the FAO, the Caribbean was always left out of key decisions because we had no data coming from the Caribbean. So I'm saying so because we have a lot of public officers in this room. This is critical for us. It is not just the business of the Ministry of Finance or the Ministry of Commerce or the Statistics Department. 
we must understand that it is when we have information and information you can only present with figures is only when you have this that you can speak to the international world this is how you can speak to even your supervisor to say this is the result of my performance it starts from you this is the results of what is happening at the ministry of commerce this is the number of persons who walked into our departments this morning the number of persons i served this morning data is everything for the aforementioned reasons i pledge my support to the rollout of this productivity tool and encourage all firms across St. Lucia to make use of it and let us tackle the issue of productivity that we have at the firm, at the personal level, at the sectoral level, and at the national level. We must improve our productivity as a nation. Why measure productivity? And why is it important? Paul J. Mayer, who is considered a pioneer of the self-improvement industry, said that productivity is never an accident. It is always the result of a commitment to excellent, intelligent planning and focused effort. Similarly, Peter Drucker, a management consultant and educator said, you can't manage what you can't measure. Based on the literature, we know that productivity gains are achieved by either reducing the resources or input that enter the production process or producing more with the same level of inputs or resources. Therefore, improving productivity is a key factor in determining business success, which translates to increased profit and business expansion. The Pro Tool provides the firms, the private sector, an excellent way to measure productivity as they work towards putting solutions in place post the COVID-19 pandemic and as they sort out the supply chain challenges due to the Ukraine war. I would therefore like to encourage the private sector to make use of this tool and support the work of the NCPC. The Department of Finance has introduced the Electronic Government Procurement System, EGP. The EGP system has many benefits for stakeholders involved in government procurement. And government seeks to adopt a strategic approach to its purchasing process. Electronic government procurement improves efficiency of procurement and enhances data capture. The EGP is innovative and will automate the sequence from notification, receiving and evaluation of submissions to final contract award. It improves communication between vendors and government agencies provides greater transparency and builds confidence in the vendor community through increased access to information. To participate, vendors, suppliers and contractors must register on the electronic government procurement platform. EGP, improving efficiency and transparency in the acquisition of goods, works and services. Data helps you solve problems. Ever experienced a slow sales month or disappointing product promotion effort? How do you identify where it all went wrong? Tracking and reviewing data from your business processes will help you discover performance breakdowns and provide valuable insights into each part of your process. Whether improving your customer service, increasing customer retention or predicting trends to build your customer base, Data will help you identify effective solutions to address your business problems. At Massey Stores, we aim to give you a quality shopping experience. And data is critical to achieving this goal. Pro Tool. Measure the performance of your business with Pro Tool. Brought to you by the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council. As various social ills continue to plague and challenge society, the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, as part of an ongoing campaign against crime and violence, and efforts at getting the nation's youth off the streets and into the workplace, have been hosting a number of job career opportunities. 
Two activities aimed at boosting productivity by enhancing the job search employment experience of scores of unemployed persons in communities within the Castries Basin were held recently. On Productivity Insights, we take a look and see how they went. In early August, an employment readiness workshop was convened at the Stanley John Odler Memorial Secondary School in Marigo under the theme Prepare for Opportunity. Social Transformation Officers Fido Justin Alcindor and Antonia Rene Marius spearheaded the engagement. The day began with a roundtable discussion with two entrepreneurs and they just shared with the participants their life story, what motivated them to go into business and their struggles, their challenges, their successes and they appealed to the young persons to not give up. We are professionals who are actually human resource managers um, who are here today telling them what it is that they're looking for when um, persons come to their organizations for employment. We also have professionals, say for persons who deal with emotional intelligence, what it is about you, how do you sell yourself, how do you become a cut above the rest, because there are so many persons looking for employment. Um, how do you dress to come to an interview? So we have those persons here today will help them how to speak when you go to an interview. The day's activities kicked off with a special roundtable discussion during which two entrepreneurs shared the stories of overcoming adversity and achieving success. Once you dream it, you can achieve it. You need to be persistent, you need to be disciplined, and you need to be focused. Share your dreams with the right people, surround yourself with the right people, Motivate yourself by watching the right stuff, looking at the right stuff, being involved in the right stuff. This was followed by a group session facilitated by professionals from various fields of work. Today we're going to be focused a lot on the self. Um, both aspects is more about mindfulness, being aware of yourself, your weaknesses, your strength. Participants were also exposed to resume writing, interview skills training, professional department, communication and conflict resolution, social media training, emotional intelligence and self-esteem, and customer service and telephone etiquette. I learned the different aspects on how to apply for a job, what I should expect when applying for a job, what should I put out, what, how should I sell myself. If somebody has a problem, we will laugh at that person. If something happens to that person, we will joke around that person. But now, knowing fully well about self-esteem, it's different. Communication. If we have a problem and we don't talk about it, that problem can never be solved because we don't have no communication. There's a lack of communication. So if you do me something or I, you have an ought against me or I have an ought against you, I'm supposed to go to you and speak to you so that we could solve that problem. That's where communication comes in. Later towards the end of August, efforts would again get underway at enhancing the job readiness skills of young people. With the Ministry of Equity this time, teaming up with the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports to host the Community Career Job Fair. This Career Job Fair is part of a two-phase initiative where persons initially attended a job readiness training workshop and also received assistance with preparing proper CVs and proper resumes. Held under the theme, creating opportunities for tomorrow's leaders, the day's activity focused on two key areas of employment readiness. So now they've been given the opportunity to put into practice the knowledge that they acquired and come out where to be and meet with potential employers. Preparing individuals to become more proficient in job hunting through knowledge sharing, training and coaching, and providing participants with opportunities to practice their newly acquired knowledge and skills during interactions with corporate representatives of participating companies. We are here today because we are in serious search for persons who are interested in joining the security company. We encourage people to come and apply every day and, you know, we saw this as an opportunity come to the people. What we're trying to achieve is to ensure that people, the youth especially the, in the community are aware of the positions and the, the job opportunities that are available at St. Lucia Distillers. We have a wide range of uh, jobs that are available from technical jobs to um, warehousing, stockkeeping, sales managers, 
uh, fleet managers, etc., distillers, operators. And what we're trying to make sure is that people are aware that these positions are available. The event attempted to positively impact the communities of Antripo, Marsha, Rockall, Bocage and Environs by presenting actual employment prospects. Today we're hiring team members, supervisors, delivery drivers, delivery riders. Um, you must be vaccinated and at least 18 or over. Um, Secure Sanusha is also the oldest security firm on Ireland, bringing some younger persons as moving forward. Unemployment remains one of the major factors that can contribute to an increase in crime. According to the Central Statistics Office, in the second quarter of 2021, 23.1% or nearly one in every four working age persons were out of work, with more females 25.3% being unemployed than 20.9% of their male counterparts. Recognizing the wide-ranging impact of unemployment on the society, the Ministry of Equity will continue to engage in strategic partnerships and alliances to implement programs and activities geared towards reducing unemployment levels. Data helps you improve processes. Data helps you to understand your business processes and to reduce wasted money and time. Every company feels the effects of waste. It depletes your resources, squanders time, and ultimately impacts your business bottom line. Plan to save money and time. Maximize your business full potential with data. At St. Lucia Linen, data has enabled us to plan for the future and to increase our efficiency. Pro Tool. Measure the performance of your business with Pro Tool. Brought to you by the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council. With the rising cost of petroleum and petroleum products, here are some tips for drivers to conserve fuel. Plan your route before leaving home or on a work assignment. Park your vehicle and take a walk for short trips. Slow down and drive steady. Fast driving increases fuel consumption. Monitor when and how you brake. Applying brakes excessively wastes fuel. Turn off the engine. Excess idling is a major waste of fuel. Monitor your tires. Underinflated tires tend to wear out quicker and waste fuel. Service your vehicle regularly. Turn off your AC. Using your air conditioning system too often can turn your car into a gas guzzler. I'm innovative. Yeah! I'm competitive. I'm productive. I am creative. I constantly improve what I do and how I do it. I am output. Oriented. I never stop learning. I give off my best, always. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, embracing excellence. This brings us to the end of another episode of Productivity Vibes, the NCPC's monthly magazine program on what's trending in the areas of national productivity and competitiveness. Send us your ideas and suggestions for upcoming programs at ncpc at gmail.com and be sure to follow us on our Facebook and YouTube pages. See you again next time.